TV, uh, I'm with Keith. Uh, and how you doing, Keith? You okay? I'm good, thank you. Okay, what, what's on your mind? What about Hearts this year? Doing okay? No. No. I'm not doing as good as we should be doing. What's the problems? Just a transition period. I'm hoping that it comes good eventually. And I think the worst thing is that Hibs, are, Hibs have been doing better than us in the last couple of years, and that's the hardest thing when you live in Edinburgh. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, we've got the we've got the uh, the derby games coming up next year, which I, I particularly like. I'm glad that they're up. Uh, we need to be ready for them. We need to be, the, the, yeah, because they'll be up for us. They were up oh, for us in the yeah. cup. Need some bragging rights back again. We, we, we definitely do. I've had it easy for so many years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's took them three years to get up, hasn't it? It's been a, it's been a long time of bragging. Uh, so hopefully half the players leave as well. Okay, well, we're outside the main stand today. Any, any happy memories? Oh, I can remember my dad bringing me here for the first time, and it was at upper stand. Uh, it was a midweek game against Dundee. I didn't even know if it was Dundee Reserves or something. I was that young because there was hardly any crowd there. Uh -huh. But I can just remember it was so cosy. Just a nice and cosy atmosphere. Uh, and you could sort of run about the places there. I can remember the old, it must have been for old uh, radio channels. You used to have wee sets of earphones and things set up on the wee wooden desks. Uh -huh. And you used to be able to go over and play with them. Uh -huh. uh, there's long gone. So what, what year was this in roughly? It must have been early 80s. Early 80s. Early 80s. Uh, and I think. Even Luke, Luke's been going to the left-hand side of the stand for the last few years, uh, and it's good. I always thought there was a something in the middle for some reason, yeah. and it's brilliant when it can just walk right over to the mass side of the stand yeah. and cut right across if it's quiet before the games. Uh, but I think even when it's cold, cold and windy and things, for that the old stand it was always warmer. Eh? Yeah, you can see yourself as you look at the other stands opposite, <laughs> and you see them getting soaked and the wind coming in. So hopefully, like I'll be up in the, I think we're going for upper tea. Or the new stand, mm -hmm. and right at the back, so yeah. they're shielded from the weather. They've got on with it. Uh, but I can remember seeing the brown room as well. I got a tour of the stadium, and it must have been in first year at school. That must have been early 80s, and there was a wee gymnasium. It was called the Brown Brown Gymnasium, I think. And I think that's where the players used to train years ago if they wanted any gym work. And it was just, I can just remember this heavy medicine ball. Eh? Uh, so it's other wee fine details to remember. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're looking at it now. It's looking looking pr pretty impressive. It's getting there. What's that? The three quarters away now. The okay, yeah. Structure at the top. Well, it's past halfway now. Yeah. And the, after this game, they're dropping it. Dropping it. I'll be coming around every night to see if they're throwing anything. In the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be looking on eBay to see if you've got it on there. <laughs> see how we go. Right. He's not on camera, but he's out of shot. But he's going to give himself a shot. This is a, a lad who follows us on Twitter. So go on, give your address out, Luke. Uh, um, look. Fan. Uh, uh, Luke Gordon. Luke Gordon. Luke Gordon, 51. There you go. So give 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 Luke Gordon a, a go. Uh, any happy memories here? Come on. Uh, probably the Kevin Kyle last minute goal. Uh huh. Uh, go on, describe it for us. 2011. There was a place just erupted. Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah, that's my stand-up memory. A few others as well, though. Mm. Go on. There's so many. So many. Yeah. So there is so the many. Relegation derby, I think. Uh huh. Billy King scored in the last minute. Right. Uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Go on, and I'm going to put you on the spot for today. Have we got any predictions, Luke? Uh, two one hearts. Two one hearts. The can Salvis to score both. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, that's all. Okay. Okay. He's got his shooting. He didn't have his shooting <laughs> boots on last time. time. I tell you, <laughs> I met a mate of mine. He, he bet the last scorer for us. Uh, and when Salvage was on goal, he was saying, don't score, don't score. So, <laughs> I don't know. Go on, Dad. What, what are we on? I'm going for a one each. One each. One, I'm going conservative, one one. Well, I, I'm actually thinking a draw, and I'd be happy with a draw at so, the moment. And what's Partick? How many points are they behind us now? Are they three points? They're three, yeah. We're three behind St Johnston. St Johnston have got an hard game, so, yeah. I so, know, oh that would take us to three if we won today. Yeah. yeah. So, tight game. Yeah. Just hope somebody scores. I just, yeah, definitely. A few had goals today. had the chances lately, they just yeah. didn't seem to put them in the net, did they? No, no. Uh, no. So, Gungalvis, I would go for him for the first goal score. Yeah, definitely. Well, you, you heard it here. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a fantastic day in Edinburgh, uh, and hopefully, Hearts win. Thank you so much, it's been Jambo Fan TV. Speak to you soon. Yeah.